Hollywood's biggest stars are once again out on the picket lines, standing in solidarity with actors and writers. And tonight, Comic-Con in San Diego becomes another major casualty mm -hmm. of the actor strike. KKL News reporter Tom Wade is here with the latest on the strikes. And Tom, what is the CEO of Netflix saying now? Well, you know, he, I, he offered some sort of contrition, I think, or an olive branch last night, but mm. I don't know that it's really produced any results yet. Mm. So we'll have to see. see. So in the past, SAG-AFTRA has been hindered by internal divisions. The union even has its own political parties, but right now industry insiders say the union is in solidarity. And as for the studios, they too appear unified and are digging in. I'm out here to fight against this broken system. Aubrey Plaza on the SAG after a picket lines Thursday, amplifying the union's message. I think these corporations have been profiting off our, our talents and our work um, and we're not getting fair wages. Other big stars like Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin were also out marching in support of the actors and writers. One of the first major events to be directly impacted by the walkout, Comic-Con, which kicked off Thursday in San Diego. Because of the strike, big stars are staying away. Deadline senior editor Dominic Patton. Comic-Con's had a rough ride in the past couple of years. Obviously, there's a couple of years they basically went dark or they went virtual which was almost the same because of covid they came back you know this year i think they really felt they were going to really get back in traction get back in the pace but now with none of the stars showing up it's almost impossible on wednesday the head of the world's most powerful streaming service netflix spoke out during the company's second quarter earnings announcement ceo ted sarandos seemed to be trying to tone down the rhetoric i was raised in a union household uh, my dad was a member of IBEW Local 640, and I also remember on more than one occasion uh, my dad being out on strike. And I remember that because it takes an enormous toll on your family. Serendo says he wants a deal urgently. We very much hoped to reach an agreement by now. Right now, there are no plans for any of the stakeholders to return to the bargaining table. It's very nice to say you want to see a resolution to the strike. It's very nice to say that you came from a union background and your dad was a, a, an electrician. It's very nice to say you understand the pain of strikes and what have you. But here's the thing is, he's, something who can act, he's someone who can actually do something about it. So I think there was a little bit of don't blame me, but in fact, you're one of the people in the star chamber. So... It is you. Meanwhile, the strikes continue to take their toll. We spoke with the owner of Air Hollywood, a studio with airport and airplane sets used by many productions. Business has been completely grounded. For the writer's strike, you know, for the past two months, we laid off half of our staff. And now because the, the actor's strike, we laid off the rest of the staff. So we really kind of um, in, in a challenging time right now. So that major issue remains, when do the two sides come back to the table? Right now, we just don't have an answer. And Pat, you can see they're just one of the mm -hmm. businesses, one of the many that's affected. Well, you know, looking at Netflix and Amazon, yeah. I mean, they're very different than the, the broadcast networks, mm -hmm. the ABC, right. CBS, mm -hmm. NBC. How does that, are they talking to each other? I mean, do they, are they picking up on what, uh, Ted said, for example, yeah. and do you expect them to come together? I'm not exactly sure who, who right. makes up the uh, AMPTP. AMP. Yeah. yeah, so they are all together. And I, but to your point, I think that that's something that the actors are looking into. Will they all stay unified because there are different interests? To your point again, ABC, NBC, CBS, obviously Paramount owns CBS. Uh, they have maybe some different interests than, say, Amazon and Netflix. Well, they those are the streaming. major streamers. Right, exactly. So, But they're all in one, they're all negotiated as one block. So will that create division there? You know, and then will the actors be able to, you know, there, there was another expert that said, hey, will the actors stay together, actors who have projects that are sitting there on the hopper, right, and, and are ready to go, are they going to say, okay, guys, let's, let's wrap this up, I want to get to my project. So mm -hmm. both sides have these potential for, uh, you know, internal division. Well, we'll see how long it's going to last. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's We're going into, yeah. what? Full, first full week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tom. For